This is a quick video on how to run a cable test on a Cisco switch. For my setup here, I'll be using a 24 port Catalyst 3850. I'll have my desktop connected to port 24 so that I can SSH to the switch, and I'll have my laptop connected to port 1 using a known good cable, and I'll be using port 1 for the testing. I'm already SSH'd into the switch here, so I'm going to jump right in and run the test on port 1. The command is test cable diagnostics TDR interface gig 101. Whenever you initiate this test, the switch will tell you a TDR test can take a few seconds to run on an interface. Use show cable diagnostics TDR to read the test results. So I've waited a few seconds now. I'm going to go ahead and run the command show cable diagnostics TDR interface gig 101. And since this is a known good cable, we can see that it uplinked at one gig and the pair status for all four pairs shows up as normal. Now I'm going to unplug the cable and run the test again just to show what that looks like. And we'll run show cable diagnostics again. And the test is still running. I'll refresh one more time. There we go. So whenever the cable is disconnected, pair status will show as open for all four pairs. Now I'm going to take this cable to my garage and torture it a little bit just to simulate the day-to-day -day abuse that computing equipment sees in an office. Alright, so back on the switch here, I'm going to go ahead and rerun the test on the now mutilated cable and see what we get. And now let's take a look at the results. Alright, so this port was still able to link up, albeit just at 100 meg. And if we look at the pair status, we can see that one of the pairs is showing in the open state, confirming that the test was able to see that there was something funky going on with this cable. And it is possible to get worse results, like what I have shown in the screenshot here. In this particular case, we were troubleshooting a machine that was unable to link up at 1 gig, and by running the TDR test, we determined that it was caused by a faulty cable. So that's pretty much all there is to this video. I just wanted to share this as a handy diagnostic utility that you can add to your toolbox. Hit like if this helped you out, and thanks for watching.